as far as the the quarantine, uh, it's been cha- chaotic and a blessing at the same time. Um, I miss definitely my gym time and being able to go to the gym to relieve stress. But thank God, um, music has been therapeutic as it always is for me. So um, I'm leaning even more into music and creativity. Um, it's crazy because I think that as I was start starting to find a rhythm with the pandemic and how, you know, sheltering in place and how life was going to go with that. And then we get hit with the social injustice and the effects of systemic racism. And you see seeing, you know, black people and people of color being murdered in the streets and even um, protesters from all ethnic groups being, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like brutalized. Um, for protesting and and during activism. So um, trying to find kind of a new normal after finding a new normal. Um, But uh, it has been uh, a challenge, but also I think that we're up for the challenge. I do admire um, a lot of the young protesters that are out here um, protesting. I think the contribution that I can make to the cause and to the effort is um, through music. I think that you know, music always kind of mirrors life and, and life mirrors art. And one of the things that I feel like the best way that I can give back is through the songs that I write and um, that are relevant to this time. Of course, we have a single called I Belong Here that I wrote several years ago, not realizing that we would be in a pandemic and people would need to be encouraged, need to be inspired, need to be affirmed um, and just reminded that they have a place in this world, no matter how crazy the world looks right now and how displaced they may feel um, and how much anxiety and depression is running rampant. Like they need to know that um, they still have purpose. They still are loved. They're still worthy. Um, And I'm also working on a a, a single um, just for this time. I also wrote that song, which is also telling uh, it's called hashtag hope. And uh, the song is really about, um, surrounding kind of Black Lives Matters, uh, the movement is surrounding uh, civil rights activism, which those those roots run really deep in my family. Um, and uh, we got a, a I, can, I won't say a guest, but we have a special opening on the record, and I can't share it yet because we're still getting clearance for that. But an MC that everybody knows, um, and you'll know his voice when you hear it. So I'm excited to have him kind of opening the single, um, and the song just talks about. Um, being hopeful despite uh, the things that we see and and hoping for a better tomorrow, even though right now we're seeing um, people, you know, saying that I can't breathe and still being murdered um, in the street. Uh, You're seeing uh, parents, people of color, black people and uh, other people of color losing their children and having to bury their kids. Um, and we're hopeful that we'll see our children and our children's children graduate and, and see a brighter tomorrow. So that's what that song is about. So that's really how I'm contributing back through songs like I Belong Here and through Hashtag Hope. I'm able to, um, you know, really give hope to our community um, and hopefully mobilize us as well through songs so that we can continue to fight a good fight. First and foremost, music and art are powerful. Um, and I think that I've always recognized um the power in music from growing up. I called myself an everyday PK. My dad's a pastor back home in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So I grew up playing and singing in church. And as did a lot of singers today, you know, um, and uh, I recognize the healing qualities and, and properties that music has. And so I've always realized from an early age how powerful music and my voice can be. And um, I, I absolutely agree. A lot of people say music is the universal language of love. And um, I've experienced that, man, from not even just this time, um, but even in the past, before the pandemic, even before protests, the recent protests, um, just people saying, hey, you know, I was suicidal or I was going through a really bad breakup or I was dealing with something and your music helped me. Um, And I just hope that, um, one, like I said, these protests, the things that are going on with Black Lives Matter, the song I wrote, Hashtag Hope, actually was for a previous incident that happened maybe two years ago um, with someone passing. I can't remember exactly which uh, victim it was at the time, um, but I was inspired to write that song. And who would know, there again, it's very telling that two years later, um, I could release the song and it still be, unfortunately, a topic and be a thing. Um, I, I hope that uh, other artists and creatives 
um, whether they are recording artists or visual artists or whatever their medium is, um, can realize during this time how important their voices are. Um, because like I said before, art mimics life, life mimics art. Um, and your art, you have a responsibility because there's a lot of things, music and your art can become the soundtrack, the sound bed, the visual, uh, the illustration um, that a lot of people can't articulate. Um, and so it's important that, yeah, the turn up records are cool, but it's also important to have records that people can 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 live with. And um, also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, either aspire them to be their better selves or just encourage them through a hard, a hardship. Um, and so that's what I really would encourage a lot of creatives um, to remember or um, even identify with is that, you know, in a lot of ways, you're people's superhero. You know what I mean? Your, your music and what you have, you are a role model. And so you have a responsibility. Don't throw away your responsibility and be like, I don't owe anybody nothing. It's just my music. It's just for me. No, it's not. That's a selfish that's a selfish perspective. You should always be considering that what you're what you're putting out into the universe, um, some impressionable mind is going to listen to and receive it. And so that's what I think it's all about.